Hey guys and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Yep, we are still on the 1.32 beta. And I've been browsing the SES forum for the mods over there, seeing what's new and what's coming to 1.32. This beauty appeared. Uh, it's one that I guess I didn't even know existed to begin with. And it's exactly what I wanted. A... Wagon and draw, granted it's got the dolly up front, which in the UK I've never seen. They probably exist, but I've never seen. It's very much an older style, Polar Express. I'm guessing, looking at that flag, is uh, Europe way. I'm not too sure where the skin is based. It is left-hand drive, but it's a beautiful old truck, beautifully modelled. And it's a wagon and draw, and it works beautifully with the cargo. So, here it is, in all its glory. You can see the way it's all connected up down there. You've got the piping. I don't know how legit the piping is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually quite detailed. Wow. Uh, never had a look at it close up like that. You can see the glad hands there aren't quite matched up. It's got old-style rims and wheels. You can swap it out to more modern ones, but I... I tried it, I don't think I like the look of it. I'll try it another time, maybe. Actually, take a look-see. It's on the uh, curb there from where I teleported in. Now, I will warn you, uh, this truck can haul quite a bit, as far as cargo, 22 tons I had on it uh, just a moment ago, finished a trip off with it, and I've got to say, it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> it's an old truck, you got to remember that, so take light cargo. Uh, it's the F86. See there, just the detail on it. Absolutely stunning. The guy's done a good job and uh, going old school, which is probably going to be the title. If we go up in here, even. Looks like there's somewhat of a model of the engine there. Yeah. No oh, fair play. And the cab interior. Of course, this is from outside view, so it's kind of crappy. Uh, but we'll take a look on the inside view right now. Isn't it detailed? It just looks so good. I love the old trucks, I really do. Alright, without further ado, let's get this set up to how I like driving, so uh, mirror up there, that GPS down there, although, really, we've got GPS there, so do we need it? I'll run with it. And we'll start it up from the outside so you guys can hear it. Actually, we'll start it up from the inside so you guys can hear the, or see the gauges and everything. Apparently I had the ignition on already, my bad. Sounds pretty cool. So, what I'll briefly do is drive it over to the store so you guys can see the different configuration options. Now, the trailer, I will show you this just before people start beating me up going, Ah, oh, it's just a mod, it's not on. No, look, here. XBS trailers, bam, there it is. Customize. So, this is the trailer. Unfortunately, the trailer, you have to pick their skins. I don't like that one bit. Uh, it would be nice if you could do a custom color like I was planning on it, so I just went with the one that made sense to me, which was Polar Express. Uh, configurations, non-existent. You can do the wheels and tires, and that's it on the trailer. If we go, uh, yes, over to the truck, however. So the trailer, you can purchase, which I was very excited about. I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie on that one. And we'll hit OK there. Uh, we'll go to truck configuration. So the truck there is a lot. Um, do I really want to do this? Probably not. You go for the standard cab or the long cab. You basically see it doesn't have the window there or adds the window there. A sleeper, basically. And you can go for a normal tractor unit, which it will wreck everything, but I won't save it. I'll show you. Right here. I believe there is an old style trailer floating around for this. I don't think it's been updated though. Uh, that's the setup I would go with, but it's just the detail on it. Good grief, I love it. So nice. And then you've got the. This is a setup I have. And then you can have a uh, tag axle there. I didn't see the point personally. Uh, engine options. Again, it's an old truck. Gotta remember that. 200 horsepower, 260, 290, 330 is what I went with. Just because of the game, basically. Uh, gearboxes, 
8 speed all the way up to 16 speed. The differentials, I did have the 488 and I found that horrible. Um, it was just brutal. Uh, with a 22 ton low, probably a bit too much for the truck. Uh, configuration, you can go from uh, sort of the black checkered look. I'm not a big fan of that, I kind of like the tan reddish. Uh, then you can do custom colors on this and then your skins. So this is the one we have. Uh, but again, the trailer is the limited factor. And various different configs for mud flaps up front. Uh, lighting configuration, so we'll just rip the bumper up because I'm not going to save down there. That seems very low hanging. Uh, you can put license plates on it. I don't see the point when you can do it in game anyway. Uh, steel bumper painted. And then, that, yeah, let's just bypass that. If it exists, uh, painted deflectors, all the plastic ones there. Of course, I went with the painted when I did mine. Uh, the stock logo, plastic logo, or painted. Different grill configurations. We have stock, old style, UK, which I found interesting, which is the one I'm obviously rocking. And I believe it's this one I've actually got. can't remember. Uh, but no UK configuration for the cab, unfortunately. Stone Guard, which I uh, just, yeah, not a fan of, but I, I know they have their place. And that looks uh, <laughs> not from uh, this side of the pond, at least. Roof Deflector. Actually looks pretty smart like that. Finland, there we go. I thought I recognised the flag. I don't want to say it, but yeah, Finland. And whatever that is. More storage up there. Different types of mi mirrors would go for the stock one there, painted plastic, and these ones which are a bit better visibility. Uh, you can do different curtains on the inside, and you can see them there. Nothing crazy. Uh, what's this one? Uh, stock, or oh, best way to do it is look there. You'll see it. Or a sunroof hatch. Um, coming down here, you can go painted or plastic. Fuel tank is a bit of a pain to find the dot for that. You can go stock or stock old, which looks a bit more period correct, and then painted uh, more modern shape. And ah, I didn't realize you could have an auxiliary tank. Oh yeah, I did, because I had the box there. But I didn't realize you could put a tank there. Cool. Uh, when I remove this, you'll see this is what the chassis looks like. Because I don't have the extended one, but... You guys get the gist. Of course, your standard wheel tires configuration. The truck does not come with its own rim selection by the looks of it, which... Rarity, I say this, but it would be nice if it did. Uh, plast... Nope. Uh, we'll go with stock with that, because it just doesn't look right. Spare tire is what I had on my version. License plate on the rear, and I think that's basically it. There's an extra dot just there, you may be able to see it. Uh, which will be for the plastics or uh, painted, because I went with the painted with the normal axle. But I think that's all the dots I covered very quickly, granted, but I covered. Anyway, we'll back out of that. And we've probably been doing this about eight minutes. Why, oh, jeez, eight minutes now, let's get trucking. You guys are probably snoring logs by now. But let me know if you like this kind of thing. Now hopefully now I've swapped out to a different gearbox, it's a lot nicer. It was brutal. Now it's kind of comical this come around and I spotted it. Because literally last week, what was I on about? I wanted this setup, basically. Not necessarily an old one. Uh, I know the tandems that are out there now, they will get converted if they're not already. I don't know where they are officially on. The link to this, if you guys want it, will be in the description. I will make sure I do that for you guys. Oh, wow, I went wide. Good grief. The only major thing I'm finding with this so far that's annoying is two, actually. Well, three, where I think about it. The brake noise. The sound of the brakes screeching and stopping. Oh, you didn't hear it then. There it is. It's delayed a lot of the time. Yeah, you're indicating to go. Two scanning trucks, jeez. 
and it seems once you get on the motorway, highway, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of shakes a little. I don't know what the issue is with that. This is probably in beta too, um, this configuration, so yeah, take it for what you will. But it does recognize it as a heavy haul, uh, which is also interesting. Now I say it recognizes it as a heavy haul, you may be saying, well, what the hell do you mean? Meaning where it parks you. It doesn't park you in stupid locations where you've got to back up or anything. It understands you've got a trailer on the back that is a dolly, so you're not going to be able to uh, back it up. So we have got some empty barrels, which it was the same trial books. On oh, trial bog. Which, uh... I don't know. Anyway, maybe something else that was hovering on. I went with a light load. Uh, 22 tons, yeah, it was pretty brutal, so we'll see what 14 tons are like, and of course it was a shorter trip, which is perfect, 92 miles. And, see, you hear that noise again. And this is what I mean, right here. So we'll go outside for this. Now it's not going to be perfect, I don't care. I really don't. Just get it over and done with, load it up so we can get on the road. And it spits us out and faces us the opposite way. But now this, for rigid body stuff, this works better than it ever used to. Now the parking brake, I believe, is on. So that lever there is the parking brake. Did we have a light? Come on. Yeah, we did. And that needle on the left seems to be brakes. So your air pressure. So it has got a weird chirp noise that I've got a feeling he may have taken up from Christian Barm's sound pack on oh, one of the scanners sounded like that. Now I don't know if this is accurate sounds or what with this truck. I'll be completely honest. I've never seen this truck before. In real life or in game, so don't even know how old it is. I'm gonna say maybe 60s. But it's nice doing the wagon and draw stuff. I will be completely honest, I have never done a video of this. I know some people have. I uh, just, I found it a pain in the ass the way the game was set up for it and they, they tried to shoehorn it in. They did their best and it worked well. But the way the game's set up now for it, it's just obvious choice for me. And I want to say the get this gearbox is better. And the issue with the gearbox I had before, I believe it was the 488 uh, range or rear diff, they were just too long, and I was struggling to get any speed upon a motorway. I was cruising along the motorway at best, unless I come to a downhill section I could get up to speed. Or did I go the wrong way? Well, let's pretend that never happened then, if I went the wrong way. Wow, well, that was aggressive. Come on now. I must have missed my turn completely. <laughs> As I was saying, it was taking forever to get up to speed. And I was cruising along the motorway, maybe 40, usually about 37, 38 miles an hour, trying to get up to 50 miles an hour at least. And then once you get onto a downhill spout, oh, you're away. But it took forever to get up to speed, and I got a feeling this is just going to be as bad. We shall see. This could be just this truck. Let's face it. These are old trucks, and you got to remember that. That's another reason why I've gone for a shorter trip, because that was brutal. Now it's actually already doing better. We'll see when it gets on the motorway. Of course, it's a lot less weight. But I look forward to seeing what the modders can bring to the table with as far as the uh, rigid body trucks. Now I imagine you can do the cargo run without a trailer on the back end too, with no issues. 
I, I don't know how that works with the Roach body, whether it would still go, hang on, you haven't got a trailer. Whether it would go, okay, yeah, the, the back end is the truck in the game would recognise that. I haven't tried that myself. Probably will at some point. Oh no, it's, it's doing better. It's holding her own, that's for sure. But I thought this was a little gem to bring to you guys, and then I lit, like I said, I found this Monday night. I was very excited to record it. That's why I'm recording it now instead of a bit later during the week. Of course, this will go up in normal time. Oh yeah, it's doing much better. Nice. This is a real short trip, perfect for this video. Starting to see some different uh, trailers in the traffic, which is which is interesting. The brakes do seem a little touchy, like you heard the sound there. Just doesn't make sense for it. I'm barely squeezing the brakes in you, making it sound like it's a bin truck. Stopping to pick up your, your rubbish, or your garbage, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this is it, going up hills. This is best speed up a hill, guys. It is slow. I'm still fighting that damn fruit fly that's in here. Must have got let in somehow, because literally there's no fruit in the house. Left out. I don't get it. Annoying. I'm kind of looking for a good spot for a thumbnail. Immediately the speed limit's 50. So what, for another thing I'm sort of can tell is, with this setup you can throw the trucks around so much more than you can an articulated trailer. It's kind of funny. There's probably a lot of you that have tried the rigid body stuff before and it's old hat to you, but to me it's, it's really new. I've just been patiently waiting for stuff like this to happen where the game would accept it a lot more. It's definitely one of the first old trucks that I've seen able to have the rigid body style. I don't know how many of these were rigid body IRL. Yeah, this gear but this uh, gear ratio is way much better than the other one. It's a little slow, but it's doing okay. Looking at the time, I may just call it quits on one video, or two videos to include today. Yeah, the brakes do seem very sharp. You, you breathe on them and it's coming to a stop very, very quickly. Now, although I picked a short trip, it seems like it's going to be a slow trip still, which is frustrating. I was hoping this wouldn't have too many hills. I was wrong. I've picked all of the hills, apparently. Because as you can tell, we're running light. This thing just hasn't got the guts to go up the hills. 12 miles an hour, we're down to there. The hills really slow us down. Which is a shame. 
Also included in what's of glad and Asher show you is a cabin accessory stuff, so you can put some cool stuff around the cab. I've kept it kind of clean, I just put the fuzzy dice in there for the hell of it, and we've got the GPS there. Let's face it, other than shows and stuff like that, I highly, highly doubt there are any, any of these are active all and stuff. Could be wrong. Probably am. You never know. Maybe that company that's got one of these in whatever configuration that now and again does bring her out for a trip. Oh, and the horns kind of sound cool. So I think this is the air horn. And this is like your city horn or normal sort of one. Although there's no air horns on it. As far as your engine brake goes. No. <laughs> Just no. Doesn't have anything. Obviously cruise control works because that's stock in game. I'll just blip that on now. And trust me, once you get up to speed, throw it on. And that's the thing, once it gets to speed, beautiful truck. As much as I love these older trucks, playability factor, I would probably throw... It's, it's a 300 horsepower, maybe put it up to 450, something like that. And a realistic talk, but I know the guys who make these trucks have got a passion for the original, the originality of these trucks, and they keep it original spec. Hats off to them. Granted, there's usually mods floating around so you can throw a bigger engine in, but it's a case of sometimes those people that do the bigger engine just go over the top and put in a stupidly powerful engine and it's just pointless. But game playability, I would want a more powerful engine in this one. Because some of these hills, it's a joke. Whether that was realistic though back in the day, I, I just don't know, more than likely. Uh, but back in the day where you have in 22 tons on one of these trucks or whatever. Again, I don't know. I really don't know. Like I said, the uh, dolly style back on the back like this, on the back of a wagon and draw, I have personally never seen in the UK. They probably exist, they probably are a thing. I, I never have seen it. It's usually just your standard trailer type system. Which would have been, would have been alright in this game actually. So we are going into Sheffield with these empty barrels of drums. If you guys didn't already know you were skipping through, shame on you. Sheffield, we're here. It's all downhill. Literally, it's all been downhill now. I'm off the cruise control, by the way. And that's high beams. I guess what, I should really be getting a thumb, though. Maybe as I'm around this car real tight. Here. And... Photo Studio! Is there anything for exposure? I thought there was. Hmm. Okay. Bring the FOV out a little bit. It's just those rims, they just disappear. Oh, the window's open. Interesting. Never noticed that. Well, that'll do. It's all in frame. If we come into an area that's got a bit more lighting on, 
I'll take it in there, but we're coming into the town. So probably not. Coming into the town, more roundabouts, more traffic lights, more headaches. As I almost missed my turn. In this one, go into still works. <laughs> we almost hit the curb there. Oh, that was close. Now can we make this like yes again? Yeah, this transmission definitely pulls better. Definitely do with a bit more ponies under the under the cab. Now, admittedly, later tonight I'm probably going to try this with uh, out the trailer. I'm going to give that a go. All right, where do you want us? Because this is going to be a pain to put where you want because of the angles that you've made. Come in here. Right? Yeah, that braking noise. That would need to go. White is blooming so hard on the game, though. Jeez. Ah, that. Oh, we had it. We actually had it. That'll do. <laughs> Alright, I'll go inside cab because I want to show you the parking brake there. I think I've already done that one. Engine off. And one last look at this beauty. It is nice. That's the horns, and enter. And that is all she wrote. Almost 30 minutes of this that I was expecting going to be about 15 minutes, but I jibber-jabbered on about the truck for way too long. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the old school truck. Like I said, it is on the SCS forums underneath Euro Truck Simulator, Models, Trucks, and I think it's like maybe five or six down from the top at the time you're recording this. If I remember, the link will be in the description, but I've told you how to get to it if you so wish. So until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya.